Flex here with another fragrance review. So, as I mentioned in my live stream, as promised, uh, next up in the queue is Davidoff the Game Intense. Now, I've been wanting to talk about the Game Intense and give it a HD review for a long time because I just think the Game Intense really represents something that Davidoff have been missing for a while. Um, so, as you know, my favourite Davidoffs, I like Cool Water, but my number one is easily Zeno Davidoff. I just think that really embodies the brand. I haven't tried the original Davidoff, I don't have that uh, cash to get that, someone can pick it up for me. Uh, uh, split, I'll happily pay you postage, we know the routine if you follow Powerhouse Kings, etc. So yeah, um, but to me Zeno Davidoff really, when I smell it, it just makes me think of the cigarettes, the cigars, Zeno himself and his fancy, you know, tailored suits, it really represents a brand for me. So, the brand has sort of lost the way, there's been a lot of shit coming out that no one gives a flying fuck about, you know. You always see it in bargain stores, it's always at the fucking... 10 to 9 section, you know, the stuff, no one gives a flying fuck about it, they're selling you 40 mils, and you know, again, that 40 mils, that weird fucking amount, they can sell cheap in some fucking drugstore, you know, I mean, you, you never, you, no one gives a flying fuck about these scents, they just appear and disappear, you know, like fucking Kim Kardashian's fucking Instagram photos, you know, no one gives a fuck about it, but we somehow still see it everywhere, you know, <laughs> um, so then they released, when the game came out, I, I smelled that and I thought, really, are you fucking kidding me? The game, okay, when I think of poker, I do not think of Spice Boy sense, okay, I do not think of metrosexual pussy ass shit. So, then the game Contents came out, and I smelled it, and I thought, I need to have this. So this is a game Intense. Now, before we get started, this, I've got the Fugantic page up, this came out in 2013, I absolutely loved this when I got it, um, I still do, but the thing that really gets me about this is this actually came with this free gift here. Davidoff the game. One thing I don't like is it says a game, not the game intense, but I'd really just prefer if it just said Davidoff. But what this is, is a miniature poker set. And this looks really nice. It's um, cardboard, but it's sort of felted cardboard. You can see, I don't play poker. I can't board with that shit. It bores the fuck out of me. Online poker is for fucking idiots. Why can't you play Overwatch or some interesting shit instead? But you can see they're still in the packages here. These chips haven't been opened at all. And oh shit, it also came with this amazing card set. I mean, just look at these cards. Two seconds, I'll dig these out. Look at these cards. How badass do these cards look? Black and silver. All shiny and shit. Look at this. These look amazing. Hell, it was worth buying the fragrance to get this deck of cards alone. Look at that. That's some Scarface, Godfather, fucking Goodfellas, gangster, that shit. I mean, fuck me, if they sold it, never mind the fragrance, just sell these as their own thing. I mean, if you just ditched the game and just put Davidoff and sold these in, like, luxury stores or something, I would buy this, no problem. Well, the only complaint is these are a little bit thin. If you buy a premium quality card set, they're pretty thick. These are a little bit thin and bendy. But if you made these a little bit thicker, increased the quality a bit, I would fucking buy these. These look amazing. Look at these things. They look so gangster. I absolutely love it. It was worth buying the scent um, just to get this damn gift. And the thing is, um, I didn't even know I was getting the gift. I was buying it at the checkout and the woman behind the desk just randomly, what the fuck, randomly picks out this thing goes, oh, that's yours, and gives me it. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And open up. I thought it was an aftershave. I thought it was one of those um, shower gel sets. I mean, look at the shape of it. Uh, and it's really nice, it's quite sturdy cardboard here as well, it's a really nice, it's, you know, it doesn't feel too cheap. And um, yeah, really, really damn good. So this is really what I was expecting. So before we get started, I know I've been rambling on a bit, I want to talk about the gift set here. Um, so, David Duffy Game Intense, this only has five notes according to Free Grantica. The top note is Gin, middle notes of Oris, I'm probably butchering that, Blackwood, base notes of Labdanum, and Patchouli. So I mean, it's very simple, but... I actually really like it. Now, one thing I have to mention is I hated the original because of its annoying fucking bottle. I mean, it was so obvious it was meant to be stacked poker chips. So with this, they sort of made it a little more subtle. As you can see, they're still, the design's still there, but it's a lot more subtle. It doesn't look like cheap fucking crap. So the lid is a little bit sturdy. The bottle doesn't feel completely like cheap garbage, but I mean, it could be improved. So we have dabbed off the game intense there. We have your information on the bottom, blah, 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 the game intense, all that cheap looking crap on the side. You use a routine. There is not much to see here, guys. So, how does this one spray? Not very well. It's got another one of those pss, 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 pussy ass sprayers. You know the type of sprayer that represents, I can't get it up in the morning. Oh, it's not happening. That's what this represents. So, um, but other than that, how does it smell? So, smell wise, I really love this from initial spray. This is what, they should have just ditched the, the original game. 
and just came up with this. They should just get rid of the original game and just release this as Davidoff the game. Or just called it, um, why did they just call it Davidoff for men? Why can't I just simply call this Davidoff for men, make it look a little classier? I mean, there was no reason for this to have the whole casino thing, because this still smells like David a Davidoff scent. It's got that, that gin, it's got a really macho vibe. It makes me think of being at a casino, because when I was uh, in college, um, I didn't like carrying my passport and stuff in case I lost it because it's expensive to replace and it's an important piece of identification. Someone, if I dropped it or someone got hold of it, you know, identity theft and stuff. So I used to drink a lot at the casino because uh, when you go to the casino, well here, when it was Gala Casino, um, they would take your photo and you get a casino card. So because they had you on file, you would just need to show your casino cards and they would already know when you get your photo taken, you hand over your passport, whatever, your ID, and they know if you've got a casino card and you remember the casino, you are over 18. So I used to drink at the casino a lot because I didn't bring my passport with me and it was reasonably cheap um, as well. And the food was pretty good. This it reminds me of this, sitting in the, the dark casino, having a pint, just by myself, just after college. I was normally the only one there, seeing the sad folk walk up, you know, um, can I have my free drink, please? I can go and bet on the Euro Cup. It's like, yeah, you just go, waste your earnings while I get drunk. <laughs> Um, but really, this is just, um, I mean, it's got a dark smell, it's, it's really damn nice. And, I mean, I do not see why the original had to exist, this smells fantastic. It's got a really, really great vibe. I absolutely love it. Um, I highly recommend you try this, does not get a lot of talk, but it really deserves it, um, because this, this was a step in the right direction, and, um, you know, I think if they released this first and changed the design a bit, made it look less tacky, less cheap, I think they could, this could have really been something. Um, in my honest opinion, I think the whole um, cheap, tacky vibe they were going with the casino chips killed this. Um, you know, marketing is important, and I think they dropped a ball on this one. Me personally, the best Davidoff scents aren't tacky. You know, they just basic Davidoff pub men, Davidoff this, Davidoff that. They don't fuck about. Um, like Davidoff champion, that's got the weights and stuff. What are you guys thinking? You're a premium cigar brand. You, you make premium cigarettes and stuff, you know, you're, you're, you're an expensive luxury brand. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> really, guys, come on. You know, get back to your roots. Stop fucking about. Performance for this one is the only real complaint I have. Now, I'm not sure about me. I find longevity isn't too bad on this, but the performance projection stuff isn't amazing. I mean, I can smell up my skin, but I do not feel it's really projecting as loud as I want it to. It's a shame because if this was a little bit louder, it would be a real daily waver. As you can see, I've worn a lot of it, a fair amount, about one fifth of the bottle. And I'm not saying that because I, well, I do love it, but it's mainly because I've had to overspray it, the shit out of this, because I do not get the performance I really want from this, to be honest. Uh, if it did have much better performance, this would easily be a 9 out of 10. But I'm probably going to get a 7 or an 8, probably an 8. But the performance is the only thing that really lets this down. And which is a shame because it does smell fucking fantastic. I'm not sure how much this goes for. It wasn't too expensive at the time, include a free gift for the 100 mil you see here. Um, but we'll see. So moving on. So age group for this one, I'm going to say this one is definitely for me, for someone who's in their uh, mid-20s. Uh, Even early 20s. It's not up to you. My recommendation, someone in their 20s. I do not think, I think this sort of leaves the teen years. I think this is a... You just turned 20, you're no longer a teenager. This is sort of the start the, the, the start of the right direction. If you want to go from the silly kid sense to the adult sense, but you don't want to you want to bridge that gap. I think it's a great scent for that because it's got that sort of macho vibe in there, but it's still sweet and people pleasing enough that you can sort of get away with it. You know, there's no fucking around going on. It's got that sort of macho vibe, but sweet and sort of sexy at the same time. So Moving on, so how many sprays this one? I'm going to recommend around six sprays, take into account the occasion, weather, etc. You know the routine, guys. Uh, I trust you do anyway, otherwise you're in the wrong fucking channel. Um, <laughs> uh, hopefully, um, uh, kidding. Uh, but re really, so season-wise, where can you wear this? Can you wear this in spring? Yes. Summer? Absolutely not. Basically, every single season except summer. Summer. Uh, spring is great for this, but I think this really shines in autumn, fall. It's got a sort of warm... You know, people associate autumn with, you know, pumpkin spice lattes and stuff like that. This really has a lovely autumn vibe. But I think a bit colder weather is the performance isn't up to scratch. It's windy, rainy. The sort of weather you get in autumn isn't going to hold up. So you might mean that you overspray. That's the only thing holding this back. But again, 
that's taking skin chemistry into account. I mean, according to Vagrantica here, some people say it's moderate uh, to heavy. Are people saying, you know, some people say it's long lasting and heavy. Are people saying it's moderate and moderate? So it's entirely up to me. I do not feel I'm getting the best performance, but I mean, that's just me. It's all down to uh, me. So moving on, situation wise, where can you wear this one? Can you wear this to work? Yes, yeah, squeezy on the square, it's perfect for the workplace, especially in an office environment or in any environment. It's entirely up to you, do what the fuck you want. You're a man, you've got more than three hairs on your balls, stop giving a fuck or I will slap you and your wife and your mum and your fucking guinea pig. <laughs> um, really, I hurt my throat making that noise, damn it. Ugh. You know, I feel like a dickhead. <laughs> Um, but really for work, fine. For a date, this is excellent for a date because I've noticed it isn't really that popular. Um, can you really, can you tell why it's not that popular? Look at the bottle, you know. It's a shame because if, if you don't, if you ignore, if you hold, if I hold this back here and you don't realise that it's, it's a poker, it's a meant to be poker chips lined up, it doesn't look that bad a bottle. It has a sort of almost old school 80s look, like the original Calvin or something like that. Um, you know. But it's only when you, you realise it's actually maybe poker chips, it sort of loses its appeal. <laughs> okay, it becomes classy to tacky, you know what I mean? Look, classy, tacky. Classy, tacky. I mean, look at it from a distance, it does look really damn nice, doesn't it? Yeah, be honest, it does look pretty fucking classy. Um, but yeah, uh, moving on. So for a date, I think this is good. Not a lot of guys go wear it. It's not too strong, it smells good. It's got a lovely dry down. Um, those bottom notes are really coming in nicely. Awesome scent for smell-wise, great for a date. Clubbing, uh, I'd say if, if this performs really well on you, pardon me, if this performs pretty strongly on you, skin chemistry, etc. Excellent clubbing scent. The only thing for me is, it wouldn't be for me, one, I don't go clubbing, I can't fucking stand clubs, I get aggressive in a drink, I want to punch people, and I do not want to spend another day in a jail cell. So, <laughs> another night in an annoying jail cell, I know they don't turn the light off, they never tell you the time, fucking assholes, um, but, but really I think the performance lets this down. Even though it smells awesome, it'll be drowned out by your Lamal, your Yope, um, probably your Aventus nowadays, everyone fucking has that shit. Um, Invictus Aqua, Invictus and stuff like that, one million. Uh, so that's the only thing let's do as a clubbing set, as a performance. In a club, you know, you really want, you want to make an impression. Let's face it, you can walk at a club these days without wearing any cologne and come out smelling of all the colognes. All the colognes! Every fucking cologne ever made! All the colognes! All the colognes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, um, that's the only thing that I down here is the performance, uh, to be honest. Moving on, casual wear. Can you wear this casually? Absolutely no problem. I think it's a lovely casual scent. And by casual, I think this is, I don't think it's a work tracksuit casual. I think jeans and a polo shirt something casual. This would be fine with it. It's got a sort of mafia vibe going on. A wee bit of, you know, original Zeno Davidoff sort of vibe in there. Really nice. Formal wear, can you wear this formally? I'm going to say yes. Now, if it's an important thing like a wedding, you know, something that's very rare, or your own wedding, or someone else's event, something that's a special event, I'm not too sure. If you absolutely love this and everyone attending the wedding has had feedback, you've had feedback from and them and you know they love this, then go ahead. Um, it's not too loud, it's not too weak, it's, you know, sort of subtle -ish. It's not going to stink anyone out and it smells good. Um, but the performance, it's, it's really up to you. There's some people might get a bit of a childish vibe. Say, for example, you own Tuscan leather or tobacco vanilla or a bunch of Montals or something like that, okay? Uh, or some Bogarts, you know, Laptuses or something like that. I really don't see yourself leeching If you own the original Zeno Davidoff, um, I would wear that to a wedding over this. That, um, but I mean, we're comparing a, um, a Cadillac to a, a Fiesta. You know, Fiesta's a great car, Cadillac's a great car, but some people will say they love the other, some people say they love a Cadillac. It's entirely up to you, you know what I mean? Like Scarface, hey, it's a Cadillac, you know? Um, so, I think it could work in form away, no problem. It's entirely up to you though, that's just my opinion, my recommendation. Anyhow, I know this review is dragging a bit long. Uh, I had a lot of talk about this scent, that's why I've been so excited to do this. Um, so I hope I haven't fucked this review up, I hope I covered everything, I hope you guys are satisfied and I hope you enjoyed this review, as always leave your feedback in the comments below, send me a YouTube message and if you have a question don't forget to post on my Powerhouse Kings group, you can join me there, I'll leave a link to that in the description um, and yeah, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, I hope you enjoyed this review and do give me your feedback, so yeah guys, thank you for watching, I do apologise, I know it's been quite a while since my last upload but, um, so we'll see how that goes. But anyway guys, thank you for watching and the golden rule, keep on smelling fly.